What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be looking for some Pokemon cards super cheap at Family Dollar. So our goal is to see if it's worth it to buy packs from Family Dollar. Knowing Pokemon cards can be real expensive for a booster pack of 10 cards comes out to being like 419 which is it adds up it adds up trust me uh, so we're gonna go ahead and look at family dollar and see what they have to offer and we're gonna see if we can buy a few packs and then see if it's worth it or not all right let's go check it out oh, okay they only got three two kinds and broken bonds let's take two of those and we'll take one of these. Guys, we're back in our car. And so I picked up three booster packs. It's because I didn't want to spend too much money on this. And I don't want to know if I'm going to, you know, get something that's actually worth it. So I decided to get three packs. And they were a dollar each. And you only get three cards per pack. So if you think about it, you're spending about $4.19 per one booster pack, which comes in 10. So if you get 10, if you get five of these which can be 15 cards per pack for a dollar so you're probably getting a little bit more in these booster packs than what you're beginning at like target or walmart but are they worth it though that's the true question so i got two uh, two sunny moon and unbrokeable bonds i got one with the mon champ and marshmallow 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 i don't know really what the name is I got one with Miltan, oh, Mill Metal, Lucario, and they do come in three, so. And then I got Sun and Moon team up with uh, Mimikyu and Gengar, which there are two of my favorite Pokemon, so that'd be cool if we pulled them out. But I heard Dollar Tree also sells Pokemon cards, so if we can pick up two more of these packs in Dollar Tree, Let's see if they have. I want the one uh, set I want to see is the uh, uh, Sword and Shield. It's, that's the newest set that's out right now. So I really hoping they have the Sword and Shield at Dollar Tree. So Dollar Tree and Family Dollar are literally like next door to each other. So I'm gonna go see if they have actually more uh, Pokemon packs at Dollar Tree. And I'm pretty sure there are Dollar Three probably in a pack. But I'm looking for Sword and Shield because that's the newest set that's out right now. So let's go let's go see if they have the Sword and Shield. If not, we'll pick up two more packs so we can do an opening. Alright, let's go check. Alright, they got this. And they have the Sword and Shield, so we're gonna get two packs. Yeah, let's get that one. Guys, I'm back in the car and I'm super excited that they had Sword and Shield booster packs there at Dollar Tree. And I so I decided to get three more packs because you know what? Six packs sounds better than five packs open. So let's do six packs to open today's video. Um, if I get something pretty good, I'm gonna be super shocked that I got something pretty good in a $1 booster pack. So let's go ahead and crack these open. Let's see if I get something really good. All right, guys, let's go ahead and crack these open. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start with these three, the one I got at Family Dollar, and then the Dollar Tree the Sword and Shield will be last. So let's go ahead and open these. <sighs> Holy cow, these are... We got it open. So our first card is a Duromaka. A Caterpie and a Koga Trap. And these were common and uncommon. So, no rare. <laughs> no code card either. Okay. Number two. Holy cow, these are ridiculous opening. There we go. All right, no code card. We got a Tingula, an Oddish, and a Green Exploration, and Common and Uncommon. And that was it for the Unbroken Bond. 
Let's go ahead and jump into the team up. Oh my god, this is driving me nuts. Oops, I'm gonna set the camera. Alright. Uh, no. Look, it's still. I just ripped this part. Oh my god. I'm just gonna skip this until I get this open. Oh god. There we go. Got it open. Alright, we get no code card. Then we got a Volabi. I think that's how you pronounce it. Ooh, a Dragatini. A Dratini. Not Dragatini. Dratini. And a Fluffy. Uh, these are common and uncommon. So far, we didn't get lucky with any of these packs. Let's go ahead and open... The Sword and Shield. <clears throat> Holy cow. These are just as bad as the other ones. There we go. Alright. We get a Beltoid. A Snorlax. Team Yell Grunt. So it looks like Snorlax is the rare from this pack. Because you can see the star. But these look pretty legit. So that's alright. Sorry about that. I just ran out of memory, so I had to clear some space and I've got back on track so it looks like Snorlax is our only rare we got out of this whole set so we got two more car uh, tour packs to open and let's find out what they are god I think for the next time I ever do this uh, series again or episode again I'm gonna get scissors for these because I didn't realize how hard or just to open these all right, we got a Rhyhorn, a uh, Mincino, and a freaking energy card. Why would I want an energy card in a $1 pack? Why? Why are you doing this to us? Oh, well. But we got basically two cards out of this pack. Well, that was a burn. All right. Let's, hoping, let's hope this is the right pack and it's going to get us something good. At least a rare. Oh, I'll just, oh God. Alright. Mm. We got a Q Fent. Ooh, reverse rare. A more energy. That looks. This is the first hollow we got from this uh, episode. So this is pretty cool. I'm actually digging this foil. And we get Hyper Potion. So, these two were probably the only uh, highlight of, the, of this episode was the Reverse Hollow, Aurora Energy, and Snorlax being the rare. So, is it worth buying these? I mean, if, you have, if you're low on cash and you like Pokemon cards, I say go ahead and buy some. Unless you're trying to, you know build up a collection because these look pretty legit as for being a collection or being a regular booster pack of anything but I think it's pretty worth it for a dollar because I actually did get a foil which I was trying to aim for a foil for this, this little episode I'm doing but I think I'm going to go ahead and stick with the regular packs because I know I'm guaranteed at least a foil or a full art in one or two packs so alright guys that's the end of my video if you like what you saw today smash that like button for me please and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you like the fact that I went to the dollar stores and got um, dollar packs write it down uh, the comments down below 
if you want to see more and there'll be more videos about it but besides all that all right guys i'll see you in the next video bye Check